I'm blue today. Who are you? Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing Absalom, or at least my interpretation of Absalom. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I cut their wings off. <laughs> After a massive amount of injuries and some breakouts and some way pushed back dates of filming, I bring you the Absalom tutorial. Welcome to my creepy hookah lounge. First thing we're gonna start off with is using the Hydra Touch primer base. This is like my favorite primer of all time because it is not too oily and it sets perfectly on my skin in like a minute. With a popsicle stick, I dug out the glue from a washable glue stick and started sticking it on my eyebrows to begin blocking them out. This technique works because I mainly put the glue on the back of my hand to warm it up so that whenever I eventually spread it across my eyebrows, it spreads well and it flattens underneath the popsicle stick. Simple. Don't forget to use water to clean up around the edges so you don't have any peeling glue underneath your foundation. Then cover it with foundation and begin working on the actual Absalom. To outline my design, which you will soon see later, I deviated from I'm using NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, which is my all-time favorite product of theirs. I, it has multiple purposes. It's amazing. Do your thing. Please note that if you do make any mistakes, you can use the Be Gone Makeup Wipes by NYX and it gets the makeup right off, like I'm telling you, instant. Okay, I don't know if you're aware of this, but Redken has this Metal FX Gel, and I use this actually to keep the baby hairs from peeking outside of my wig once I put it on, but I spread it across my hair. It's beautiful and glitterous, and you could wear it out for amazing nights. The next thing we're gonna do is just make ourselves a blue. Focus on painting yourself blue. I'm using a cream paint that is just this baby blue bright blue, beautiful blue, my favorite blue, blue. So with this aqua paint, I used a lot less water than I normally would so that I could pack the paint onto my skin and it would be super vibrant and pigmented. The key is getting the perfect consistency. Once your body is as blue as you want it to be with as many layers as you need, I would move on to your face where you're going to make your face blue. I don't start out painting blue all over my face. I follow the lines that I placed on my face in advance with the milk pencil. But of course, at your discretion, create Absalom exactly how you want to make him. Here we're using the Wicked Lippy Envy. This is the perfect shade for what we're trying to accomplish. When you're wearing it, long wear wise, it's not going to dry out your lips because it's super, super conditioning. And yeah, it's real nice. So wear that. This is the eyeshadow base, and I'm using it as a primer with this lovely NYX eyeshadow. I am sweeping the shadow with a blending brush across my lid and creating a cat-like shape. Make sure that you're pulling the shadow out to meet the paint wherever the paint ends and your eyelid begins. Then with either a blush brush or a contour brush, you can pull the shadow into a contoured shape on your cheek, whatever shape that is, is up to you of course. But this shadow is good for contouring as well. I am also using it to add stripes onto my arms to create more dimension on top of the paint. Okay, side note, actually Vivid Brights that's my favorite. Those are my favorite NYX products. They are so vibrant that the packaging doesn't even do it justice. So I am using this liquid liner, this beauty, to pull it across my face, create kind of like eyebrows, but really they're just going to be an outline for what we're going to be adding to our faces in the future. So now I'm using a sea sponge and I am just brushing across the sea sponge with this vid eyeliner and then dabbing it over the areas that I contoured. This adds dimension and texture to our stripes. Now this is very important. If you want to be a caterpillar with a highlight on fleek, please use NYX's Illuminator palette and sweep it all the way across your cheekbone. It's that time where we correct what we've created with our body paint. After you fix your face, please proceed to muddle it up again using the sea sponge and the eyeliner. Let's move on to, gonna get a round of applause please, the glitter! <laughs> this is my favorite part by far. I just applied their face and body glitter on, 
after putting the primer in the center of my lid so that we can be shiny like Edward Cullen. I used a dense packing brush to pack on the glitter. You can use any brush for this. You can even use your fingers, but I chose to use NYX's brush because it was perfect for this job. Let's move on to the neck. Let's please bring that same shadow all the way down to the neck and add some more stripes. I might have added some shadow to my temples without telling you. With the Vivid Brights eyeliner, drag a line from your temple all the way to the bridge of your nose. I decided to add detail in the form of dots. You can do this all over yourself or you can just do it on your face. Depending on what you're trying to accomplish will determine what kind of detail you add. With this sponge, add some more Vivid Bright to your neck contour basically because that's what we're looking at right now and you're good to go. Don't forget to add your falsies. I doubled some up. These are the ones I used with the wicked line. So amazing, right? So amazing. Here is the important part. To make our entire look cohesive, you have to bring the stripes across your face. I used a lighter pastel -y purple shadow for this. Any shadow will work depending on your color palette, but this is the one that worked well for me because I wanted it to be subtle. With the Vivid Brights Purple, I just use the end of the brush to add dots in detail along my brow bone. You can do this anywhere, but I specifically use my brow bone because I still want to hide that and elongate my face. With NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk yet again, we are making our eyes look bigger and drawing in the waterline and just outside of it underneath. Careful not to poke your eye out. And that is the final look. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now go smoke your hookah. Mine is tobacco and nicotine free. Just side note, you can get that on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, it's blueberry flavored if you're curious. Everything else is very okay. stable, but just... <laughs> I feel self-conscious so now. Why? Because you're here. Do you want me to leave? you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment box below if you guys haven't subscribed please do join the alchemy clan become part of our creepy weird family because once you're in the family you never get out please like if you like this video share for all of your friends to see don't forget during the voting period you are able to vote three times a day per email so that means if you have more than one email you can vote more than three times a day I will be putting out a video for exactly how I came out with my entire freaking set because it was a big set and I pulled a lot of things together and I spent the past two weeks getting it ready. So this is all for you guys. Let's make it to the top 20, okay? Thank you guys for watching and as always, do you.